Hello everybody, welcome to the start of the Xabi Alonso Leverkusen Karim. I hope you guys will go on to enjoy this series. I'm sure it is going to be a banger. Anyway, um, this is all going to be a bit of a post-commentary um, series in terms of this uh, section. Anyway, I hope you guys do happen to go and enjoy this. It just means I can get the videos out a lot more frequent for you guys, a lot more quicker and a lot more regular because obviously I'm always busy, you know, doing actual live streams. But anyway, let's get into this proper series. I'm super excited to get this series underway. So it transfers a few players and loan out, uh, actually transfers one player, loan out of couple. As you guys see, I have updated the league table. Um, Heidenheim and Damstar are in the Bundesliga and I've relegated Schalke. Anyway, um, Schalke and I can't remember the team that finished bottom by now already. Huff Berlin. Right, okay, so Patrick Schick, first big sale to, uh, gone for the club, a 65 million deal. He has gone and joined at Chelsea. So he'll be joining uh, Mauricio Pochettino's Chelsea side, but however, I believe in this save, um, he is with Frank Lampard, so... Wish him all the best, but anyway, a really good move for him. Uh, we get a lot of money for it, and hopefully that will only be one of the big departures in this episode. Next player, we saw Nicholas Lama to um, Siversport in Turkey for 800k. We also saw to make our first signing here, a man which has been heavy linked and set to join Leverkusen in real life, Granit Xhaka from Arsenal. Really am happy this deal. He's a solid midfielder, got Bundesliga experience playing much in Gladbach, having a really good, realistic signing. I do want to try and get this crew mode realistic, and yeah, really happy Granit Xhaka. £28 million deal, good with that one. We've also decided to loan out another young centre-back, Mamba, who's a belt centre-back going to loan to Royal Antwerp for a season-long loan. And we're looking to loan out another young uh, Belgium here, I believe. I can't remember, is it like, oh yeah, Monome, who's gone out and loaned to another Belgian side in Leuven. Another sale here, well, technically another loan deal. He'll leave the club. Um, Aria has gone out and loaned to FC Cincinnati for a season-long loan. Fofana has joined Genk for another season-long loan. And we still make our second signing here of the series. The thing is with this Bayern squad, we are very low on good quality squad depth. And we must get a few positions. And this guy, I think, is a great signing. So, so, Agu from Werder Bremen. He's definitely going to be their replacement to Frimpong if we do decide to let go of him. Because, obviously, he's linked to some high clubs. Anyway, first game of the episode against Bayern Munich. It's funny that they signed Kane. We actually started this game really well here as we sprint forward and go with Frimpong. 1-1 on with the keeper. And unfortunately, we managed to drag the shot wide of the mark. Bayern Munich, however, have a great start to the game. Good save from Radecki originally. We just couldn't manage to lapse onto the rebound. And he's an easy net, for, uh, net there for Thomas Muller to tap that one home into. And Bayern Munich take a 1-0 lead. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't get any better. Unfortunately, we're messing around with it back. And, we're foot and uh, Bayern have put through on goal 1-1 on with Kingsley. Coleman, who slots it over into the bottom left corner. A really good start to the game for buying two goals already conceded in nine minutes. Not an ideal start. Sorry if you guys have my dog right there. <laughs> okay, cheers Murphy for ruining that. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, Bayern Munich have a great chance to make it three now. They play it forward to Coleman, and then they go forward on goal one on one with the keeper. Great finish right there. Three nil Lever uh, three nil Bayern meet Leverkusen. However, we have a great chance to pull one back to come for the left side with Grimnado, who just the one in the middle. Diaby, unfortunately he dragged his shot wide of the mark. And Frimpong, a great stop the second half, though. A perfect stop. Frimpong plays ball at wide to Yabby. Drills him on into the near post. And it is Palacios who scores our first goal of the series. Which makes it 3-1 here away to uh, the German champions Bayern Munich. A really good start in this game here in the second half. And however, it almost, uh, uh, however, unfortunately, our early goal in the second half almost potentially came null and void as Kimmich uh, comes to the post and Odeki manages to uh, divert the one away from goal. But we have a great chance here. We're trying to make a couple of substitutions. And Grinaldo, the new Simon Leverkusen in real life, comes forward on the left side and drills it in the bottom left. Score. It's a great finish there from our Spanish left wing back slash left mid. And we managed to make it 3 2. Uh, we have a great chance here to maybe equalise the game here. Agu plays a lovely point to Bravo who forced a very good save from Sommer and unfortunately that is all she wrote in that game and we unfortunately for our first game of the series we do lose 1-0 Joshua Eze goes on to uh, Pisa. He's gone out on loan for a season-long loan. Another player has gone out on loan as well. We do have a lot of players that need loan deals just to go and get some experience, you know, and hopefully go at rate in uh, Brute, who's a uh, young Colombian midfielder, goes out on loan to Inter Miami. We begin this game against Dortmund, and it is a really brilliant start for us. We can forward on the right side with Diaby, who decides to cut in, does really well, and then drills it, but it's a really good save originally there from Cobell. And we do manage to clear their lines. Now we're going to go forward on goal here. One on one. Diaby squares the ball across to Adley. Adley now in the middle. Shoots. Good save there from Cobell. 
Look at that. We created so many chances, but unfortunately, we just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. We come forward here down the left side again with Diaby. He's one on one with the keeper this time. Bit of a tight angle. He's going to go for it, Diaby. And force a good save there from Cobell. We do manage to keep the ball in, uh, but unfortunately, Palacios' shot on the edge of the box was blocked and. Dortmund to clear their line. Dortmund, however, do take the lead here as they square the ball across to Brandt. And uh, Brandt finishes that one quite calmly. They've started this game really well, 25 minutes in. Unfortunately, Dortmund, uh, with their first shot on goal, really forced a, uh, uh, a goal. And there was another shot from Dortmund. Good save from Decky. Dortmund have a great time to make it 2-0 as they play it into Adeyemi. Laid back to him, and Adeyemi manages to play it into the top right corner. And 2-0 Dortmund here versus Leverkusen. Not an ideal start uh, to this series so far. It looks like we're heading for back-to-back -back defeat. Uh, not what you want, especially so the Then again, we are coming against two of the best sides in the league. We've got to be remembered that. We have a chance to pull one back. We drew it low across the face of goal. Good shot blocked. And the 65 minute mark, we do actually pull one back. Vitz plays across to Hodge Leck. Hodge Leck managed to pin it in the bottom right corner. It's a great finish there from our Czech Republic and forward. And we make it 1 2. Can we manage to uh, forge a comeback here? That would be ideal. Unfortunately, not. Dortmund, not the ball around nice. They're playing Addy Amy, who managed to get his brace of the game and 3 1 Borussia Dortmund v Bayern Leverkusen, which is, um, yeah, very frustrating. Dortmund actually almost managed to make it four, which I don't know how they didn't look at that being squirmed around. Unfortunately, we managed to clear our line, still was the edge box. They play it in and Hideki for another great double save right there from our finished goalkeeper. And then that is all she wrote there. A massive 3 1 victory to Dortmund. And unfortunately, our first two Bundesliga games of the season unfortunately end in defeat. We're still searching for our first win here as we go away to Frankfurt as we lay the ball off to Frimpong. And Hodgleg was shot on the edge of the box and his uh, shot was blocked on the way through right there from the Frankfurt defender. Frankfurt have a good chance here to come forward to Kolo Miani playing a ball into Maramouche who looked like he's winning on goal but Taps over done enough to hold him off and Hideki comes out and just smothers himself around the ball. We've got ourselves a corner here. Vitz going to deliver the ball into Taps over who gets above his man and manages to bullet head of that one into the bottom right corner and we take the lead for the first time in the series. 1-0 uh, Taps over with a bullet header there into the uh, top right corner. Great finish right there and he managed to make it 1-0. We not run the ball at nice on the edge of the box again, and Diaby is shot from distance. Good save originally. However, unfortunately, as an Eddie Neddy Crimo goes, our leads don't last long, and Frankfurt managed to equalise. They drive forward down the left side, drills the one in the near post, and it was an easy tap in there from Mamouche again. Uh, however, in a fantastic start against the second half, Frimpong drills the ball into the near post, and Hodgleck is there, but bullet head in the back of the net. Currently, our top goal scorer now with two goals, uh, scoring against Dortmund, and now against Frankfurt. Really happy with that one, Hodgleck. Great goal. Uh, unfortunately, though, we do manage to give away the ball in midfield, and we just couldn't keep possession here. And Marmouche is laid for drills it across to Kolo Miani. I should have slid there with, um, I think it was Hinchapani or Taps over. Uh, and unfortunately, Kolo Miani managed to make it 2 2. A shot from distance there from Frankfurt, and forced a good save there down to Radecki's bottom corner. We have a great chance here to maybe pull one back, uh, not pull one back, go in front here as we uh, just play the ball around nice, which is what I want to do this Leverkusen. So I want to play some attractive football. We're knocking them all around. Nicely, Vitz sees the inverted run here of Grimnaldo. Just draws the one to the middle. Diaby just couldn't lift that one over trap. And it's an easy save right there. We have another great chance here to make it 3 2. We drill a ball in the near post, blocked. Falls on Muzu on the uh, just inside the box and tries to drill that one in the bottom right corner. But unfortunately, his shot is dragged wide. And Frankfurt with the last chance of the game playing Colin Miani. It's a shot there from Rodri, but Hodeki with a good save. Anyway, we're going for our third and final signing of the series so far, and we bring in Bondar. I think that's pronouncing then the Ukrainian seven shot down there. It's been heavily linked to Premier League clubs, but I really am happy with this signing because I think he's a player with bags of potential. And um, yeah, Ukrainian got decent pace and I'm really happy with that one. And that is all she wrote for our trans window. Really am happy with that one. And now we're going to get through a load of games here as we take on Freiburg at home. Not the most appealing game this one. It took a while for any bit of action to come in, as you guys see here in the 32nd minute. Honestly, barely thing happened, but we do really well as Vitz is a runner here of Grimnaldo. He's in down the left side, Grimnaldo. Ronaldo made a sprint for playing in the middle to uh, Amazon, who's on the edge of the box, and uh, laying out to Frimpong. Then Frimpong goes for it, and unfortunately, can only get that one over the bar. There's a runner on the inside here from Frimpong, which is our better chance to game here. Frimpong Loco Stemra Bay, who managed to find some space in the middle and shoots across goal, and his shot was dragged wide. 
At the beginning of the second half, though, it is actually a dream start as we managed to win a free kick halfway in between the Freiburg half for a bad challenge there from Grifo on uh, Denrabain. We decided to give the free kick here to uh, Grimnaldo, I believe, who uh, does what he does best uh, in this series so far already with a few really good deliveries in the box. This one's the best of them all. Just whips the ball in, taps over, head and shoulders above the rest and manages to finish that one into the back of the net and we managed to make it 1-0 Leverkusen as we search for our first win here of the series and a back-to-back uh, -back goals as well for Taps over. Obviously scoring against Frankfurt and now scoring here against uh, Freiburg. However, Freiburg, unfortunately, again, they're knocking them all around nicely. They're in it on the left, so Greg Ortiz and it comes off the post. We get very lucky right there. Very, very lucky. Close there from them. And it was a very tight game this uh, final 10 minutes here. Frankfurt create themselves a great opportunity as they come forward with Grifo. Unfortunately, I ran a little bit too far forward. They play in the middle to find Delwood, who finishes that one into the back of the net. And Freiburg, unfortunately, looks like they've stolen a point from us, which is very heartbreaking. Or have they? We've got them on the edge like with Frimpong. Frimpong's in, and he finishes it into the back of the net. It is 2-1 here, Leverkusen versus Freiburg. And couldn't be any more happy with that. Come on, lads. And hopefully that is now going to be our first win of the series. You see what that means there to the team and the players. And honestly, I couldn't be a happier man. However, unfortunately, my mood went massively downhill as Vert got injured for three months. We begin our first Champions League game here against Club Bruges. Always going to be a difficult game. They're a solid side, Club Bruges. Um, but they are one of the teams that you feel like in the group that we should be beating or at least aiming to beat because... Um, you know, they probably aren't realistically going to make it far, but they still do have some good players like Scob Olsen, Yama. Um, you know, they still have some side players, Clinton, uh, Mata. But anyway, we should be aiming to win this game here with Bayer Leverkusen. And unfortunately, though, we don't get the perfect start again. Yarmouk playing it into Lang, and then uh, Yarmouk nicks the ball off Tats Sobri, did originally a good interception, and Yarmouk was in on goal and finished it into the bottom left corner. But as things usually go in this series, usually when I concede, I usually score right away, which we do do here with Amazon, who drills forward down the left side, drills the ball into the mid, and there's the Abbey who... Uh, Pokes the ball into the empty net and we managed to make it 1-1 here versus Club Bruges. Ten minutes gone and we are back level as we cancel out the very early goal we conceded. Diaby now does well. Crazy into Muzu. Does a flick and header onto the back stick. But unfortunately, none of our players can manage to get there. We have another chance here to make it 2-1 as Diaby now sprints forward. Uses his pace to advantage. Beats Michelle and managed to get it past the uh, goalkeeper Simon Mingale. And we take a 2-1 lead here versus Club Bruges. Very happy with that one. And Musa Diaby showing his class as well. We come forward, he get the ball on the edge of police So I just thought, why not? Let's go for it. Just take a deflection and just went wide on the bottom left corner. We have a great turn to make it 3 1 as Plasios plays a ball out wide to Grimnaldo, who delivers a nice ball into the back stick. And Hoshlek is there with the diving edge to make it 3 1. And that looks like it could potentially be our first Champions League win of the series. And our and our back to back home wins as well, which I only just realised that as I'm doing the commentary over this one. However, Club Bruges almost managed to pull one back here. They come forward on the left side with Noah Lang, who does what he does best. Plays the ball in the centre. Uh, Van Aken laying it across here again. And that one, uh, I believe, took a touch off a Hedereki and hit off the top of the crossbar. And Mazun going to play into Diaby now, who's one-on-one -on -one down the left side. Does a bit of skill and managed to get it on the edge of the box and just curls it in the bottom left corner. And it is 4-1 Leverkusen. A fantastic start. Now, this is what I want to see more for this Leverkusen side. This much quality. And that is absolutely incredible. Really happy with that one. And uh, we have a great chance here to actually make it five as we knock the ball around with Xhaka playing out wide to Grimnaldo. Grimnaldo on the left side, doing what he does best. No, a great delivery as, uh, as Moon gets above his man. Unfortunately, can only head that one over the bar. We might have a chance to make it five once we find on the right side of Agu, but unfortunately, we decided to just cut back and the referee just blew his whistle immediately. And we win our first Champions League game of the season, a 4-1 victory. Now we're going to take on Werder Bremen here, away from home. Going to be another difficult game. They're a, good, a solid Bundesliga side. Got one of the best strikers in the league in Falkirk. And um, it was a pretty bit similar to the Freiburg game. This little bit deadbeat. All right, as we on the right side, Weiser plays the ball into Buffal. Of course, they could save there from Odeke. And um, yeah, we get the ball in the edge of the box. Adelaide just turn and shot, and it goes over the bar. All right. Um, and then Freda Bremen does what they do best, uh, knocking them all around nicely here. And then they're falling on goal, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And Hodeki have a great save there, down to his bottom right. And that is, we're going to go in the second half here. It took 64 minutes for the opening goal in this game. As Werder Bremen now, because four down the right side, unfortunately, we couldn't manage to uh, block off the cross that was played in. So then they just dink it across to uh, Dush, who takes one touch forward. And he has an empty net to tap into. 
And then, uh, unfortunately, though, we did take us later on to create a chance here as we pin forward with Frimpong from Lobo from Diaby. Frimpong's in one on one, and he makes it 1 1. And we level here another late goal. And Jeremy Frimpong has scored another late goal. And we draw 1 1 there. Grimaldo is unfortunately out for four weeks. We're now going to take an RB Leipzig here at home. Could be a difficult game. RB Leipzig, one of the best sides in the Bundesliga. We deliver a ball in there with Backer, and who comes in to place the injured Grimaldo, and Diaby's downward header. Goes wide. We're going to form the right side here with Diaby. Plays it in a Frimpong. Frimpong, nice ball. Amazuni with an absolutely spectacular effort for the Scorpion kick. Forced a good save. And uh, Leipzig managed to clear that one away. We're going to sprint forward and goal. One on one, the keeper. Diaby finishes it. 1 0 by Leverkusen. And that is Diaby's first goal in the Bundesliga. Great finish right there from Musa Diaby. And he becomes our top goal scorer, I believe, now. However, Leipzig, again, you know, with the quiet they've got, they're not running the ball deep inside the box here, and um, they play the ball in here to Werner, and Werner sees an open there and just taps that one home into. It is one all here between Leverkusen and Leipzig. Leipzig now going to come forward on the left side here with Werner. Unfortunately, we just couldn't manage to keep up with Werner. And, um, yeah, my controller is slightly a little bit broken as well. So, sorry if you guys see my players constantly switching like mad. Unfortunately, it's a glitch, and I am trying to get a new one. Uh, it's not that bad, though. Uh, but, anyway, it is frustrating, especially when you see goals like that through stuff that you feel like you can't really help. But Leipzig make it 2-1. And then we have a great chance Adley gets played through. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And then managed to finish it in off the bar. We managed to make it 2-2 here. Leverkusen in real life. This is exactly like it. They score shed loads, but they concede shed loads. Right, we've got a shot there from uh, Leipzig. Another good save. Free kick here. Headed away from Zoom. Falls off the edge of the box. So what the Klosterman plays them all in. And they're going to lay it around. Shot. Turn and shot. Strain the hands of Rodecki. And uh, Leverkusen in one on one. Silva. Wide of the mark. Close there from the Portuguese forward. But they do manage to take the lead as we give away the ball poorly from the goal kick. And Andrea Silva's in and manages to uh, score. We come on the left side, Adley draws a ball across, blocks the way through, rebounds back to Adam there, so he plays in Mizuna, who turns and shots, and managed to get it into the bottom right corner, and it's 3-3 here uh, between Leverkusen and Leipzig. We are determined to not lose here at home. However, Leipzig, a late goal, unfortunately. It's too much for us. They play the ball in, a cuckoo. 4-3 Leipzig, most sexual in Chelsea in real life. Gut wrenching that, and that is 4-3 to Leipzig v Leverkusen. And unfortunately, that is defeat. Anyway, we're going to our second Champions League game here away from home against a very good Atletico Madrid side. As we create the first chance of the match, we come from the right side. Diary plays one in the near post. Adley turns and shoots and blocks on the way through. And a shot from distance well by Atletico Madrid from Griezmann. Forced a good set of Medeke. Corner kick, head him into Panis, straight out of black. And, um... Another ball taken quickly. Xhaka heads on the left side to find Adley. Adley now can come forward. Driving down the left side could be a good chance here for the Frenchman. Who does really well. Going to try and cut the ball in. He's under a little bit of pressure. Laying it off into Azun. Now off to Demirbe. on the edge of the box. It's a fantastic finish right there. From our German midfielder. And we managed to make it 1-0. Uh, Leverkusen here versus Atletico Madrid. A really ideal start here from the German midfielder. And now they're going to on the right side against a lovely ball in there. Across goal from Lodi. Trying to see the run of... I mean, that was Maratta, and unfortunately, uh, for them sake, it was too much on them. Atletico Madrid do really well here. They're not around the ball nice in the edge of the box here. Plays it into Lamar down the right side. Thomas Lamar, we done really well to defend this one originally as it was intercepted, but Demerbay's clearance was poor, and it fell to Koke. Griezmann off here again. Just lovely one to the football Atletico Madrid, and, and Memphis Depay finished it into the back of the net. We've got us a corner here with uh, Leverkusen, and, and again, we've been really good threats from set pieces, and it's going to be shown again here with Frimpong. Who is our Dutch uh, right mid? I'm playing a bit of a right mid with the comeback on the fence roll, but Frimpong delivers a great ball in as Moon there again. Lovely header there into the top left corner, and we've managed to make it 2 1 here to Leverkusen versus Atletico Madrid. And it is a very, very, very good goal there from the Iranian. Right, okay, not rather more nicely. Atletico Madrid try to drill the ball in, blocked on the way through, and Felix laying up to Koke on the edge of the box. Koke have a shot, goes off the inside of the post, and unfortunately it is 2 2 there. And then a late chance here for Let's Go Madrid. They come on the left side. Lodi tries to drill the ball in. Good block there from Fossi Mensa at the near post. And then a corner kick here to Atletico Madrid, uh, which I believe uh, is going to be well held there from Hideki. And that looks like it's going to be it. No, it doesn't. 3 2 Atletico Madrid. And that is pain right there of an effort from Memphis to Pike. 
Anyway, down to positive news. Alexander Zimmerman, 85 to 94 potential. We decided to promote him. Anyway, we're going to the final game of the episode here against Wolfsburg, who signed Anarchy Williams, surprisingly. He shot down the edge box from uh, Frank Pong Force. Did good save there for Castiles. Uh, but yeah, really good save right there as we nick the ball off the defence while Hoslick playing it into Bravo. Bravo squares it across here to Andrich in the middle and Andrich for a great finish there into the top right corner and we make it 1-0 Leverkusen here versus Wolfsburg. A lot of competition with midfielders here. We've got Xhaka, Demrabai, Palicios, Andrich, so many good midfielders. Ball played in there from Wolfsburg. They drill it across the middle again. Flip back to Anarchy Williams and a good save there from Hodeke. A yeah, great save there for the finished goalkeeper. We're going to come forward down the right side with Frim Pong, who does absolutely wonders here. He sees a run on Diaby. Diaby now in down the right side, doing what he does best, the uh, Frenchman. Plays the ball into the middle to find Hodgleck, who turns and his shot is blocked on the way through. And now we're going to come forward with Diaby, who sees a lovely run side of Andrich. There's an, and then there's an inside run here from Bravo, which we lay it across to him. Bravo, first time shot in the near post. And that is 2-0 Leverkusen. Is that finally going to be a win for us? As we manage to make it 2-0 here versus Wolfsburg. Unfortunately, late on, Wolfsburg do manage to pull one back here as they play a ball forward here. Nemeka into Williams. Williams in one-on-one. -on -one and a great finish. But then again, that is all she wrote there. That is how the game ends. 2-1 Leverkusen here versus Wolfsburg. A fantastic win. And uh, yeah, couldn't be any more pleased. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode of the Leverkusen crew. If you guys have, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Uh, really hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. And um, yeah. Take care, people. And yeah, what a uh, result here versus Wolfsburg. Have a good day, everybody. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next episode. See you soon.